top tip to aspiring entrepreneurs would be quite a boring old-fashioned sort of one, I suppose, which you'd expect from somebody like me, which is do your homework, do your market research. You can find out so much now on the internet, but if you're thinking of doing something in a particular area, find out what's available already, find out what people are paying for things, do your homework. I think it's terribly important to support early stage ideas, and particularly for young people. I mean, partly it's the enthusiasm. You want to promote that because you want to keep that. You don't want tired old people doing stuff all the time. Das britische Schüler und Schülerinnen Fremdsprachen lernen. Uh, seit langer Zeit haben alle hier gedacht, wir brauchen nicht uh, Fremdsprachen zu studieren. Alle sprechen Englisch. And I think now the realization is dawning that actually that isn't the case and that they will have a competitive advantage if they can speak other languages. We need new businesses, new businesses of the future. We need to create jobs, we need to compete internationally. So we've got to support these young people. Particularly interesting, I thought, was Alan McEwan talking about GM foods and showing that there actually wasn't any scientific evidence to state that GM foods are potentially harmful and an awful lot of scientific evidence to show that they're good. Do you think it's sensible to put tongue-in-cheek comments when you're completing an application form with a view to someone making a quarter of a million pound investment? I don't think there's anything wrong with having a bit of a personality in business. If I was asked to give three tips to young people starting out their own business, I'd say do a lot of market research, think it through as much as you can, and find a mentor or someone who's been there and done that to help you.